Dwayne The Rock Johnson was once a wrestling legend who dabbled in acting, but he didn't become a bona fide action star until he entered the billion dollar Fast and Furious franchise as Luke Hobbs in 2011's Fast Five. Stay out of my way. But by the time the eighth installment, The Fate of the Furious, rolled round, Johnson took the private behind-the-scenes drama public, sparking a feud with co-star Tyrese Gibson that would last for years. Where are you going? This is crazy! Speed up! The online feud began in 2016 with a since-deleted Facebook post where The Rock blasted his male co-stars per ABC News. After praising the incredible crew as well as the franchise, the former wrestler didn't hold back, saying, My female co-stars are always amazing and I love them. My male co-stars, however, are a different story. Some conduct themselves as stand-up men and true professionals, while others don't. The ones that don't are too chicken sh** to do anything about it anyway. Candy asses. I will beat your ass like a Cherokee drum. Flash forward to 2017 when Tyrese Gibson took to Instagram to ask Johnson not to do the Fast and Furious spin-off, Hobbs and Shaw, writing, You have purposely ignored the heart-to-heart moment we had in my sprinter. I don't want to hear from you until you remember what we talked about. Fast family is just that, a family. We don't fly solo. I mean, I wasn't trying to get into the whole leadership thing like now. According to Entertainment Weekly, later in 2017, Universal Pictures announced Fast and Furious 9 would be delayed due to planned spin-offs. Gibson obviously didn't take the news well and blamed Johnson for the delay. He wrote on Instagram, Congratulations to The Rock for making the Fast and Furious franchise about you. Will this be another Baywatch? Guys, guys, just relax. I'm just a passionate film critic. Shots fired. I see what you're doing. You think I'm stupid? Of course I think you're stupid. A day later, Universal announced the release date for Hobbs and Shaw. Gibson responded to the news by taking his beef to Instagram once again, posting a throwback pic of the cast without Johnson, writing, Diversity, love, fast family. Until Dwayne showed up. I guess this whole time he had a problem because he wasn't the only one on the movie poster. There ain't no goddamn team. It was just one man. And he's standing right in front of you. Gibson went on to add that Paul Walker and Vin Diesel were both offered franchise spin-offs, but turned them down at the time. Johnson posted the teaser trailer for Hobbs and Shaw on Instagram later that week, claiming that Universal approached him about the spin-offs years prior. He explained his reason for agreeing to the film was to, quote, create greater opportunities for his fellow Fast and Furious franchise castmates. But his parting shot came with the hashtag, Candy asses need not apply. Gibson then ratcheted up the feud by posting a video of Johnson criticizing Gibson's 2015 R&B album, Black Rose. In the now-deleted video via E! News, Johnson said, Shouldn't be called Black Rose, should be called Big Piece of Black Dog That's what it should be called. Gibson captioned his post, Haters come in many forms. In my Kanye voice, Black Rose is one of the greatest R&B soul albums of all time. This is my first number one album. I'm on a mission to save my genre, R&B, like real R&B fans. The feud died down for almost a year until Gibson hopped on Instagram again in November 2017 and threatened to walk away from the Fast franchise if The Rock continued to be part of it. Misspelling his own character's name, Gibson wrote, I'm sorry to announce that if Dwayne is in Fast 9, there'll be no more Roman Pierce. You mess with family and my daughter's survival, I mess with yours. Close your eyes, dude, you're a clown. No way. This guy's a real ass. On August 2nd, 2019, Hobbs and Shaw hit theaters and roared to number one at the box office in its first two weeks. Johnson took to Twitter to thank his fans and take another shot at Gibson while he was at it. He wrote, Thank you everyone for making this an exciting first week of box office for our little spin-off Hobbs and Shaw. Number one movie and $333 million worldwide ain't too shabby. And remember, the best way to shut the mouth of a clown is to flex with success and a smile. In its first month, the film earned over $600 million worldwide. I'm what you call an ice cold can of whoop ass. However, in yet another since deleted Instagram post via People magazine, Gibson called the global opening not a win breaking up the family clearly doesn't have the value that one would assume it does. Again, my respects because he tried his best. Hobbs and Shaw is all about the F word. 
family. On September 6th, 2019, Deadline reported that Hobbs and Shaw surpassed $700 million at the box office, making it the highest grossing non-Disney, non-superhero movie of 2019. You can probably smell what The Rock was cooking when he read the article. Yes, another shot at Tyrese. An Instagram post where the action star posted a screenshot of the Deadline story. Assassins quietly play chess, loud clowns play checkers. Thank you audiences worldwide for this incredible support and massive win. Very cool and we're grateful for the love. We're not sure if The Rock and Gibson will appear together in Fast and Furious 9 or not, but if they do, we're buying all the popcorn. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.